In this video, I'm going to show you why 4-3 even 6-1 is one of the best defenses in the game. I'm going to show you how to use this defense um, to stop a lot of the meta route combinations that you might see um, you know, in Madden 23. So let's go ahead and get into the video. If you want to get my full 4-3 even 6-1 defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Uh, I put this ebook out, I want to say, two weeks ago, week and a half ago, and it's just really, really effective. So really simple to run as well. Uh, but the play we're going to be coming out in is cover four quarters. Now, for your coaching adjustments, you want to make sure, just kind of copy these, um, auto flip off, auto alignment to base. You can leave auto flip on if you want, but um, it's just simpler to leave this off. You want to put this on uh, swap ball, option defense on conservative, and then the most important thing here is we want to have our zone coverage set to match, um, and the cover four quarters is a match defense, okay? So what we want to do with this is actually a really simple setup. We're going to blitz our linebackers straight down. And then what I like to do with the 4-3 even uh, defense is we want to kind of use these two high safeties. They're kind of one of the biggest keys to this defense. However, we want to go ahead and cross man the tight end with the safety on the left side of the screen. So we're going to cross man the tight end just like this. And then we're going to show blitz. We want to cross man before we show blitz, otherwise it won't work properly. But you see here, this is what the basics of the defense looks like, right? So now we have a match defense, if you will, to the right. And then we're just going to drop both of our defensive ends into curl flats. And then we're going to drop our defensive tackle into a uh, bluff blitz, which is going to put a three red hook on the field. So now we have essentially a match quarters defense. And what you'll see is if they try to run any flood concept to the bunch side, they're going to get bagged with this match guy. Of course, he still was able to catch it, but it's possibly just because I'm using two controllers, okay? Now, you can easily adapt this match defense. This free safety is essentially a wild card player in this defense. You can kind of do whatever you want with him. So, for example, if we're worried about a C route to the left side of the field, we could man him up on the number one receiver, which then allows us to put that backside guy into an outside third. So, you see here, now the defense kind of looks like this, right? And if they run a C route to the left side, they're going to have a really, really hard time getting this open against this coverage, as you can see. So if you wanted to kind of bracket the number one receiver, that's a great way to do it. Um, you know, but another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could just run it, you know, pure quarters style, uh, just like this. You know, and you have the same base basic coverage. Um, if you stand, you kind of mess with where you stand here, you can get some glitchy three-man disengages um, at the quarterback as well. Now with this defense, I do recommend edge threats. Um, having edge threats on your outside, they get really, really fast uh, shed animations as well. So that's something else to kind of think about. But you see how fast Devin White is getting these shed wins, and he doesn't have any abilities. He's just a good pass rushing. He's not even necessarily a great pass rushing linebacker, right? So when you put a great pass rushing linebacker in that position, it's going to make it that much better. Another simple adjustment you could make is you could deep half this guy on the bunch side, and then you could inside third this backside guy. You could basically do kind of something like this. Um, this is not a bad coverage by any means. You have a deep half, you roll an inside third, you have the outside third there for the C route, you still have the underneath coverage with the curl flats. This is a great little adjustment out of match coverage because you're still going to be able to stop your corner route, but now you've got a middle of the field robber player to handle some of the things that they're going to do. So all in all, this defense is really effective. One last thing I want to say about this defense is this. You can kind of create a, a relatively interesting coverage. You can send a lot of heat out of this. Um, you know, and then all you're going to do here is you want to cross man that tight end. Uh, so it looks like this. You want to then, um, you know, kind of run the defense like this. This is kind of banking on the fact that they're going to block a running back. If they don't, if they do, if they put the running back on a route, you got to go guard the running back here. But you see how fast the pressure can come from a similar coverage look. Everything looks the same. That's the beauty of this coverage or of this defense. So like if I go to if I go to a man blitz, everything looks the same. And I think that is such an important little piece um, of the puzzle here. You have to make every defense look the same so that your opponent can't recognize, you know, when you're blocking or when you're sending everybody and then when you're dropping coverage uh, out of it as well. So 
see how good this defense is. This defense is super versatile. I think it's actually a super simple defense to run, uh, which is part of what makes it so good. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope that this was helpful. And if you want to learn the rest of the 4-3 even 6-1 defense, make sure you join our Patreon. It's just 10 bucks to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. We have 12 ebooks in there right now. Just released a brand new offense this week. And we're going to be releasing another ebook at the end of this week for you guys as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. And we hope to see you at the Patreon page.